Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a thematic index to use on a contents page at the front of your layouts using flow and player frame filters here in Dorico, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. I'm working on an anthology of pieces for solo violin and piano, and my Dorico project has four flows, which you can see here with these four separate pieces of music. And at the front of the layout, you will notice that I've made a start on creating a title page and a content page where I would like to show the first few bars of each of the pieces in the anthology so that it's easy for someone looking at the book to find the specific piece they're interested in. And in Dorico, this is very easy to achieve using music frames with flow and player filters. Let's switch to engrave mode and toggle on frame editing. I'll click this button to insert a new music frame and drag out on the page where I want the frame to be. Because I've done this in the layout, this frame is independent of all others, though you can see that it's actually too small to show all of the staves without drawing them on top of each other. That's no problem, because what I actually want to do is filter this music frame, first of all by flow, and I just want it to display the first flow here. May song. And I just want to show the violin player. And this gives me exactly what I was after a few bars from the beginning of the piece that makes it easily identifiable to the reader. So let's do the same thing for the other pieces in the anthology. This one's Minuet, and select Violin, Flow 3 is the Happy Farmer and violin again. And finally, chorus and violin. And it's as easy as that. The first few bars of each piece in the anthology beautifully presented as a thematic index, all achieved here inside one project in Dorico. If you found this video helpful, please click on the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it, and subscribe to our Dorico channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.